Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Salim Lalose. I just want to quickly teach you um, how to identify um, liquidity zones. Uh, what do I mean by that? It's because when you are trading the forex market, the first and the most important thing to understand is um, where the market is highly likely to turn. Right? What do I mean by that? Uh, what I mean is where are the uh, stop losses hidden where um, are the liquidity zones okay so there are specific areas not specific per se but they are areas where the market is highly likely to to reverse due to um, uh, uh, that area being a liquidity zone so let's start with the with the four hour right so this is GBP USD on a four hour chart right um, as I'm looking at this chart right now, uh, there's a few interesting levels, right? Let me draw them for you. Number one, we are looking at this zone right here. And we are also looking at this uh, zone right there. Doesn't have to be specific. It can be the middle of the zone, not right on the tip, or you can put it right on the tip. It's still okay. And then finally, we've got this zone right there. So right now as i'm speaking to you um the market is highly likely to come punch here and reverse to the upside highly likely okay so also the market is highly likely to come and punch here and reverse to the downside if it continues here the next zone will be this one before it moves to the downside if it takes out this zone Highly likely we are looking at this zone down there before it goes up. Okay. What why is that? What is the reason for that? The, the reason for that is because these are zones where there are stop losses, right? So when we look at all this zone uh, right here, this is where a lot of stop losses are lying. So if we take this um to a one hour chart let's say you are a scalper you trade strictly shorter time frames you need to understand this as well this is now on an um, on an hourly chart right let me just clean up the chart so that you can see easily so this is an hourly chart now and uh, if you're looking at an hourly chart you can even minimize to see things a little bit clearer we are also looking at this this zone right here why this is the current daily high for the day okay and then we are highly likely looking at the previous day's highs as a liquidity zone and finally highly likely that zone up there and then to the downside okay clearly see what is happening here right now as i'm speaking to you the gbp punched below this zone and it's getting that rejection we don't know whether this rejection will push it to come check out these stop losses that are sitting right here or it's going to do a trend continuation but if you are short like me already this morning i've actually decided to take my trade out here because i identified this zone as a potential zone where the markets might reverse but when the market starts trading below i gladly rejoin uh, if my also my indicators are showing me um, a trade to the downside so the next zone will be highly likely this zone down here as well you can clearly see there are also um and zones where there's highly likely stop losses uh, hiding there and stop losses right on this one so you can use this line as a total zone and the market is highly likely to come here before it reverses back to the upside as well i don't know maybe come and punch out this zone right there so when you are an intraday trader you need to plot these zones you need to identify the zones and if you're a long-term trader yes you can do this on a daily chart as well for example if you trade the four hour chart you can look at the zones on the daily and the weekly so that you can identify where you want to highly likely um, exit your trades but it's very simple you need to identify these zones beginning of the day before you even start trading so that you can know where you are highly likely going to be closing your trades or where you are not going to be taking a trade so for example if the market comes here get a setup right here it means that you need to wait because the market is approaching a zone where it's highly likely to to reverse you might want just to wait until the market comes 
starts trading above or it fails and starts trading below that zone and gives you a, a lower high or a lower low or whatever indicator you use it starts showing you that there's momentum to the downside so guys uh subscribe to my channel there's more videos coming you're allowed to comment you're allowed to ask any questions also uh, you can share this video with your friends share with your mentor share with your cousin share with your other trader friends they might learn a thing or two from sunny thank you very much god bless you goodbye